Welcome everyone to Otaku no Cooking, where today we are making onigiri using the manga cookbook. And I'm just trying this. I have no idea. I've never made onigiri before. But what I have done is I have made some steamed rice using actual sushi rice. Uh, not just regular, you know, white rice, the sushi rice. And I'm just going to try this. I have a couple suggestions here from this particular um, uh, recipe. So I'm going to try this. Loosely cover the top of a mug with a piece of plastic wrap. And I believe the plastic wrap is going to allow us to kind of form this without killing ourselves, which is kind of nice. So plastic wrap goes loosely on the mug. Sprinkle a pinch of salt onto the wrap. Okay. Pinch of salt. Leave that out. Um, and add a handful of cooked rice. The amount is up to you. Let me grab a, uh, I think I have a little soup here. Yep. Handful of rice. That's a, whoa! Ha ha ha! Oh, ah, that's hot. Okay. Yeah. Um, put some plastic wrap to seal the rice in tight. Yep, that's what's going on. Okay. Make a, the v, a V shape with your thumb and forefinger. All right, so you're going to, Form this into cheese. This is really freaking hot. So that's a point. Uh, you you want to kind of cool this down a little bit. Then I'm just making this into a triangular shape. You can see. And you want to pack the rice tightly. Ha! <laughs> cheese! Okay. So, note to self. Let the rice cool a little bit. Well, And then we're going to cut these into, oops, clean that a little more triangular. Um, we're going to cut this, these nori strips into one inch strips. And I think we're just going to use a pizza cutter. I'm going to try that. One inch, that seems like about one inch. That do it? No. no. It may need. Okay. That is also an old pizza cutter. So I think we're going to cut it much more obviously, much more easily. That. Now it seems to me these are. That's ridiculously big. So we're going to go maybe like that. That. Okay, is this is still ridiculously hot. Wrap the bottoms and hope you get it. Alright, so then we unwrap this. And we place the nori around like that. And there is our onigiri. That's looks like onigiri to me. So let's keep on trying this. I'm not sure how much you can reuse the same piece of plastic wrap, but let's find out. Yeah, my favorite uh, shonen is still Kenshin. Sometimes a little bigger. See why you want why the plastic wrap is convenient. It is starting to cool off a little bit, so it's much more handleable now. But still hot is Say into you kind of like this and like that. Okay, that makes sense. All right, I see. So you take it like this and you do that. And you're just kind of forming that V shape. Maybe unwrap. That's 
press that down a little bit. Grab a just ignore it. Wrap around like that. And take that. Um, yeah, that's probably, I probably am not going to have many more uses of this plastic. Because that sticky rice is all over it. So I'm learning. <laughs> I agree, Spin the Wind. Trust and Betrayal is one of those, you know, those classics of anime where it's like, you, we all should watch this. Kind of like the Mac Ross movie, you know, Akira, Ghost in the Shell. It's one of those. And obviously, it's not that you're not a true fan if you haven't. But like, these are important. These are. You should make the time for these. Ignore these. Oh, I've got the salt. Okay, so two. Salt. 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 Everywhere. Uh. Android Decatur, nice. Big O, big O, big O, big Okay, so they're saying I'm going to do this and then this to form our large onigiri. Still quite hot. Making that mistake. Right. Right. Squeeze that down. And make our, our wedge shape here. Escaflone. Nice. <laughs> yeah, Big O is definitely one of those. Uh, Unusual shows, very intentionally so. I'm, I'm not, I'm not knocking it. But it is, uh, it, it's very interesting when Japanese people uh, do Christian allegories. Um, yeah, let's do some more. Uh, we'll do. I think we're going to go wider. Now. I'm just using uh, kitchen shears to cut these. Ah! Um, that felt like it was about right in terms of length. Okay. Uh, we need another sheet of plastic wrap. So, yeah, this is very straightforward. Plastic wrap, pinch of salt. I'm using kosher salt because that's uh, it grips very nicely. Oh, ow. Woo! Get down deep in that rice, and it is hot. I may be making these rice balls too big. Not sure. Yep, this is Nori. Yeah, Trigon. I feel Trigon less so. I, I think Trigon is unfortunately one of those series that is probably going to be just a... Um, It'll always be popular, but uh, while it was a classic back in the day, it's just ceased to be. Like all the stuff of the 70s and 80s that folks, uh, you know, they were absolutely need to watch shows. And that now, you know, like 8 Man, everyone, like I, I know a lot of anime fans from back in that, the day, they were like, everyone should watch 8 Man. And now, not so much. Even Star Blazers, you know? Point to anyone who's watched Star Blazers Yamato. Even I could not quite take Yamato. 
and you wrap your nori around it. This is so that you can eat it like this, right, just by holding onto the nori. That rice is very sticky. Right. Would that be sticky salad? And how was the sticky salad? No. This is going to be the side now. A bit of salt. Some rice. Use up the rest of this rice. Together, and then let's let's go here. So we're going to do our V. This is now cool enough to work with without burning myself. Make that V. Squash it into that shape, and just keep on squashing it. I'm learning here. I got a particular attention to uh, this top ridge, which is a little hard to form into a very crisp edge, and there's a tendency for it to get very thick on the bottom. So I'm having to keep on squeezing that bottom. Careful. I'm pretty sure Burst Angel is shown. Right. Unwrap this. I think I'm just going to be able to do this actually. Yeah, see how kind of lumpy that is? The, um, it's just not very, uh, not very even, so I'm going to even that out. And wrap some molding over it. Uh, that's the one that kind of broke. It'll probably go a little um, uh, longer on those nori strips. I can imagine making them, uh, you know, half instead of a third of a sheet. And I'm just going to have to go. Still fairly small on this. That's just a lot of runs. You know what? I'm going to go for long. I'm just going to go crazy. I'm going to make a giant, actually, you know what I'm going to do? This is kind of a small piece. Let's go crazy. Big piece of plastic wrap. Ah, jeez. Some salt. A very liberal amount of salt. A whole bunch of rice. I'm just going crazy on the rice. I'm going to make a giant onigiri. Because why not? Not bad. Put it all out. Let's just see what happens here. Nice giant ball of rice. Don't want to squeeze it too hard. Yeah, that's a point. Good point. Squeezing that into that wedge shape, triangle shape. Yeah, I'm, I'm unfamiliar with the kind of viscosity of sushi rice, like how easy it is to uh, turn it into basically a, a paste or a gel by squeezing it. All right. But it's definitely very easy to, to shape that, and I might just have to, yeah, I'm going to have to, this is too small, so I'm going to go ahead and let's try, yeah, it's, it's a big old onigiri, we're going to have a big old strip of, of, uh, of nori, which is basically seaweed, we unwrap that, we look at it, it's a little lumpy, so we're going to make that a little more precise. Put our strip of nori onto there. There. It's a very lovely little, uh, little bit of onigiri. Now, I'm going to take this one. And because I made it, Ooh, the salt on the top, the little salt um, burst. Mm. So you just eat it. It's just a ball of rice. Very easy. Mm. Ah, nice. Mm. 
It tastes like rice. There's nothing too exciting there. Um, by shaping it, that pinch of salt tends to get spread around the outside a fair amount, mm. which, gets, which adds a nice little um, punch to it. And then you just... Mm. A little bit of that seaweed. Mm, that is that is very easy to eat. It's, it's filling. It's a staple diet. I am not familiar familiar with the nutrients in rice, but a very large fraction of the human population has survived for millennia on rice as a staple diet. So it's probably pretty good for you. Better than a Big Mac. So that's making onigiri. It is, as you saw, basically just plastic wrap in a, in a mug, some steamed sushi rice in that, and then you wrap the plastic wrap around it and shave it, and then cut off a little strip of the, this nori seaweed, which you can, you can find online. I, I got this on Amazon. And you, you do this, and uh, it's, uh, yeah, that is, that, is, that is very, very tasty. 